Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Space News Pod, a show about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. I'm your host, Will Walden. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at what may happen this week with Crew 3. Are they going to be coming home this week? We'll see. And there's only really one thing that we can be concerned about. Now, let's take a look at what we have in store for this week. Now, Kathy Loiters from NASA has said that Crew 3, here's a tweet from Kathy, Crew 3 will be undocking at 1.05 a.m. Thursday, May 5th from the International Space Station. Splashdown off of uh, Florida's coast is planned about 12.37 a.m. Friday, May 6th. And the new undocking time allows for shorter phasing and more time to review the latest forecast info. Sounds good. Okay, so we scroll down a little bit. Weather is being watched closely to confirm selected primary and alternate sites are good for return and will conduct another weather review about 24 hours before undocking to determine whether we are go to proceed. More to come. Okay, so Kathy says, we're all good. So far, so good. The crew looks healthy. Crew looks like they're ready to come home. The International Space Station is prepped for this return. The crew dragon is in good health and the crew themselves, they want to come home. They probably want to stay in, actually, they probably want to stay in space a little bit longer because that's pretty cool. I mean, if you were to go to the space station, how long would you want to stay? Let me know in the comments. I would stay probably two or three weeks and then I'd probably get homesick. I would love to see the earth for that long. I think it'd be amazing. I would take all the photos, take all the videos. I'd make TikToks. I'd make YouTube videos, everything I could. Two to three weeks would be pretty cool. Now, if you would last longer than that, that's amazing. Like, would you want to go for the record? I want to know in the comments. That would be awesome to know because I I like to talk about this stuff. Let's have a, a conversation about that. Now let's check out the forecast, please. Okay. Thursday, sunny with a high near 91. Let's go back to Kathy's tweet real quick. Thursday night, 1.05 a.m. Thursday, May 5th for um, the takeoff from the space station. And the splashdown will be 12.37 a.m. Friday. So let's take a look. Thursday, pretty much Wednesday night, you know, because they, she said uh, 1.05 a.m. Thursday. So Thursday morning. High near 91, calm winds, uh, 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 8 a.m. on Wednesday night. That's the Thursday morning they're looking at. So Wednesday night, Thursday morning, uh, Thursday at 1.05 a.m. Um, so 30% chance of showers and thunderstorm before 8 p.m. So it may clear up. They may be cool. Mostly clear with a low around 69 <laughs> east southeast wind five to ten miles per hour before or becoming light south in the evening so it looks like the weather is going to break up before they actually leave the space station but what they want to be careful of is when they land so friday and thursday night is what we really have to worry about mostly clear with a low around 71 thursday night right here uh, east southeast wind around five miles per hour friday mostly sunny with a high near 92 so it looks like thursday morning and friday morning will be pretty good to go for this uh pod to come back down to earth we don't know exactly where they're going to be landing NASA hasn't released that as far as i know but kathy said somewhere uh off florida's coast so the new undocking time allows for a shorter phasing and more time to review the latest forecast information. So there could be more. I mean, it's Florida. So we have to think about that. It's Florida. So the weather could change on a dime. Things could go berserker mode at any moment for Florida. So the weather could change because that's kind of what happens there. I, I used to live in the Orlando area and I know it happens all the time. It could rain in the morning for 10 minutes and then be completely awesome for the rest of the day. And then, you know, at seven o'clock at night could torrential downpour for two hours and then be totally fine by 10 o'clock, you know? So Florida weather, it's always up in the air. You never really know what's going to happen. So hopefully crew three gets a successful undocking from the international space station returns to the Florida coast on Friday morning. And that'll be, you know, Friday morning, 12.37 12.37 a.m. So hopefully they get this all done. They get this weather figured out and they undock the crew and they come home safely. Let me know in the comments, of course, if you would go to the space station and how long you would stay. So that's about it for now. I just want to tell you about the Crew 3 stuff and uh, 
stay tuned for more information as I get it about Crew 3. Thanks, everybody. Take care and have a great day. 